what a difference one little number can make because we know we can't put the subnet ID or shouldn't put the subnet ID in as an IP version 6 address. What we will do now is put that host address in that we talked about earlier and I'll just go over a little bit with my left arrow and what we need here is a 1. That's all we need. So we've got again going from left to right we've got leading zero compression going on in the fourth block, we knock that down to one from zero, 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 one. These two colons represent the fifth, sixth, and seventh blocks, the first three blocks of the host section of the address, because those were all zeros. And then finally, we got this one on the end, so we're using the first host address in this subnet, and leading zero compression knocks that down to one from zero, 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 one. And no messages, no warnings, just the way we like it this address has been accepted. So let's go ahead and just verify because one thing you notice with the IP version 6 unicast routing command, what kind of confirmation did we get after we ran that command that version 6 was actually running? I'm highlighting the answer. <laughs> we didn't get any at all, which is a little odd. You know, you'd expect to say, hey, IP version 6 is now enabled and you don't get anything. And the thing is, you know, the only message we got down here was a warning when we did something we shouldn't do. And then when I put an appropriate IP version 6 address on that interface, we didn't get any message. So we think it's running, and it looks like it's running, but is it running? Well, we're going to trust, but what we're going to do after that, we're going to verify. And we're going to verify with show IP interface. And let's see. Hmm. Fast Ethernet 00 is up, line protocols up at the top. Internet protocol processing disabled. That does not sound good. But we see all this information about serial 010. We see the IP address we've seen throughout the course and the broadcast address and everything else. What did I do here? I did not put V6 at the end of IP. And that wasn't meant to trick you or anything because we haven't even seen this command yet. But Again, especially once you start working with version 6, it'll drive you a little crazy. It did me, and it will you, that you're just so used to entering IP version 4 commands you've used for a long time, and now you just got to remember to add a V6. So anytime that you're working with IP version 6 and you run a show command and you don't see what you think you ought to see, check and see if you put that V6 in there. Because what we want to do is show IPv6 interface. And this is a little more like it. Now, the only interface we're seeing here is Fast Ethernet 00 because that's the only interface we're actually running version 6 on. Again, when we run uh, the unicast routing command, IPv6 unicast routing, that's enabling IP version 6 globally, but it's not going to be enabled on a per interface level until you actually give the interface an IP version 6 address. So going from top to bottom here for a little while, because to be blunt here, we're pretty much going to ignore all this stuff at the bottom. Now we're going to see some of these terms. We're definitely going to see ND dad here. We're going to talk about that. We see some router advertisements going out, but we're going to leave that alone for right now. Also notice something called stateless auto config. There's that auto configuration again. So we will be chatting about that later. Right now what we want to do is focus at the top and look at our addresses and the other values here. Now going from top to bottom, first you see information that we are very familiar with when it says fast Ethernet 00 is up, line protocol is up. That's the information that we get with the other version of the command show IP interface and up and up works the same way with version 6 than it does with version 4. The first one refers to physical, second refers to logical and we gotta have up and up or we are, uh, we are down. The very next line, IP version 6 is enabled, and it means on this interface. That's a great thing. Link local address. Hmm. We got a link local address here, and it looks something totally different than anything we've got as far as the global unicast address goes. And we didn't even enter a link local address. So where did it come from? We're going to be talking about that very shortly. Now, I want to point out that all the discussion and work we do with link local addresses in this video a little bit and the next video which is totally dedicated to it 
we're talking about this link local address. When it says no virtual link local addresses, just ignore that for now. Okay, that's for future studies. We're leaving that alone. This is not the same thing. The link local address and this virtual link local address is talking about not the same thing. Now, the global unicast address, we know what that is, and that's our fully routable address, and here it is. And you'll notice the router uses zero compression, deleting zero compression to, uh, to express it. So that's another reason we really have to know what's going on there, which we do. And it's going to tell you right after that, and hey, here's the subnet. And it's exactly what we expect it to be as far as the subnet ID with the two colons at the end and then a slash 64. The two colons representing, of course, the four host bit fields, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, a couple of things we didn't do here that seem to have been assigned to us. The first one, this link local address. And do you remember joining any group addresses or joining any groups? Because when I join groups, I tend to remember it. Well, we didn't join these, but we have been joined to them, apparently. And you can see these are also hex values. We see that FF at the front of each one of them. And again, this is something coming up a little later in this section. So I just want to point these out. These are some default groups that we've been assigned to. We didn't do it manually. And this link local address as well. But here's your output of show IPv6 interface. Very important stuff and stuff that we're going to be working with for the next couple of videos. Now there is a brief, ah, there we go, IPv6. There is a brief option for this command, and by golly, they're right. That is brief. It is very brief. And we see show IPv6 interface brief, and we see here, we see information regarding all four of the interfaces on this router, whether they have IP version 6 enabled on them or not. So that's an important difference here with these commands. And notice with fast Ethernet 00, we see up and up, and there's that link local address again. And right under it is our global routing address. And it's the same information that we saw up here. Excuse me, let's go down. With show IPv6 interface. That's our global unicast address under the link local address. So we better know which one is which there. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, administratively down and down. We know what admin down means. It's shut down. It's in shutdown mode, actually. And same goes for 0, 0, 2, 0. And I shouldn't say shutdown mode. It's just been shut down. It has a shutdown command on it. Now notice, though, that we see serial 010 is up and up, but we see the word unassigned under it. And the unassigned, as you can tell from the output of fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, that's referring here to the fact that no IP version 6 addresses have been assigned to this particular interface. So it might puzzle you at first when you see up and up and then unassigned, but you are going to see this is the physical and logical state of the interface, period. And we saw that that was up, but it's got a version 4 address on it, no version 6 address. And that is why we see unassigned there. So I told you there was a lot of information here in show IPv6 interface and show IPv6 interface brief. They are great commands to use at the very beginning of your config to verify that you've got it enabled first and that you have enabled on the interface as you want it to. Now about this link local address. We are going to discuss that in the next video, where that value came from. And you might want to get a little something to write with. There's a slight mathematical operation involved about how that link local address was derived. And that is all coming up next.